Welcome to this guide to performing a skin self-exam. In part one, I'll start by explaining the A, B, C, D and E rules. These are the warning signs you should be aware of when looking for melanoma skin cancer. Then, together, we'll follow a simple seven-step process in part two for how and where to check your whole body. As well as having a professional checkup once a year, it's a good idea to conduct your own skin check once a month. So, please make following this video a regular part of your monthly health routine. Your skin is precious, and it's really important that you get to know it, so you can identify any changes in your moulds. Let's get started. The A, B, C, D, E rules are a good way to remember the possible signs of melanoma. A. Is the spot asymmetric? Is one half unlike the other? B. Does it have uneven borders? Are some of the edges irregular and poorly defined, while others are sharper and well-defined? C. Does it contain different colours? Does the spot have more than one colour, or is there an uneven distribution of colour? D. Is it larger than 6 mm in diameter? Is it larger than the width of a pencil eraser? E. Has there been an evolution in size, shape, or colour? This is a particularly important rule. If your mole has changed in any way, you should see that as a warning sign. Similarly, is it an ugly duckling? Does it look different to your other moles? Understand what is normal for you, so that it's easy to spot any changes. In fact, if you find anything that looks atypical, or if any of your moles don't pass the A, B, C, D, E test, then book an appointment for a professional checkup soon. You should also see a doctor if you have a skin lesion that is painful, scabbing, itching or bleeding. An open sore that doesn't heal after three to four weeks is also of possible concern. But please remember, the key to successful treatment of melanoma is early detection and treatment. So, don't delay in getting advice if you think it's needed. Now for part two, the actual examination. We'll keep the ABCD rules on the screen in case you need a reminder of what to look for when you're doing your skin exam. We've allowed some time between each set of instructions, so you should just be able to leave this video playing in real time. But if you're not ready to move on and need more time to check any particular area, just hit the pause button. You should be in a well-lit room so you can see your skin and all your moles clearly. You'll also be looking at some hard to see and hard to reach places. So you'll need a comb, a full length mirror and a hand mirror to conduct a full examination properly. If you can get someone to help you, that's even better. If you find anything that concerns you during your exam, you may want to take a picture of it with your camera, with a ruler alongside it for reference. This will allow you to compare pictures of the mole over time, so you can detect any changes. We'll be checking your whole body now, from top to bottom. Step one. First, examine your scalp using a comb to part your hair. If you don't have much hair, make sure you check your entire scalp very thoroughly. Step two. Next, carefully check your face, including your nose, lips, mouth, and ears. Don't forget the tops and behind your ears.
Step three. Now focus on your neck, chest, and upper body. Women, be sure to check between and underneath your breasts. Step four, use both mirrors to check the back of your neck and your back from top to bottom. Step five, time for the arms. Check your upper and lower arms, not forgetting your armpits. Step six. Next, check the front and back of your hands and in between your fingers. Pay attention to your nails. Finding any black streaks or unfamiliar ridges would be a warning sign. Step seven. Lastly, Examine your lower body. Check your genitals, buttocks, and your legs, both front and back. Finish by examining the soles of your feet, toes, and in between your toes. That's it, all done. Now, if you've seen anything that concerns you, please get it checked by a doctor or dermatologist soon. But please also remember that if detected and treated early, the majority of melanomas can be treated successfully. Thanks for watching, and I hope you'll join me next month. Bye.